Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. As promised in my last update video, this is my cloth diapering video just showing you kind of what I have so far for cloth diapering. Um, I think I'm pretty much set with the exception of I need more cloth wipes. I also have a, a lot of um, disposable wipes which I'll likely use as well uh, for, for diapering and for a lot of other stuff that I found out that disposable wipes are really good for. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get right into this. This is in no particular order. I'm just gonna kind of show you all the diapers I have and everything that I have for cloth diapering. Uh, okay, I have, um, I bought a bunch of these. These are actually flower sack towels. So I have, um, I have 10 here and I actually bought 10 more when on my last trip to Walmart. Um, these can be used as flats. Um, they're supposed to be really good, really absorbent and they wash and dry um, just great. You can basically find them in the kitchen section at Walmart or Target or whatever, um, they're just, um, they're like a cotton, um, they're called flower sack towels. They're like a cotton, um, basically like a dish rag or a dish towel. So I bought those and those will go into covers and whatnot. So I'll show you now a bunch of the covers that I did get. Um, this one is a Thirsties cover. So these are covers, these are not pocket diapers, you just basically either pad fold the absorbency or you can um, wrap your baby up in like a flower sack towel or a flat or a pre-fold um, in sort of that diaper fold with a snappy and uh, and then put this on top. So this here I thought was cute. It's got little um, octopus and stuff on it. This one is a romper ruse and this is just in green. Okay, so into my flips, we have the Einstein, the baby Einstein here, which is really cute. It's got all the little math equations, says I'm a genius and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I have a bunch of flip diapers. This one, oh, I think this one's called Louie, and it's another um, limited edition just like the Einstein. Um, again, says I'm a genius. Um, it's got a bunch of music, musical instruments and stuff on it. It's really cute. This one here... I can't remember what this one's called. I want to say it's called Love or something like that. Um, anyways, it says Love My Cloth Diapers on it. It's very colorful print. Um, this is another flip. This is the festive uh, flip. So this color, even though it's like a minty kind of green, it's a green and red, so kind of like a cr little Christmassy um, cover there. This one I thought was very cute. It's got, uh, it's a little Dutch one. It's uh, got wooden shoes and windmills. Um, and both our families have a Dutch background, so I thought that was really cute. I had to get that. Um, and this one is a Grovia, I believe. Okay, so this is a Blueberry Capri. Now I believe this is like, sort of like, you can see how tiny it is. This will definitely fit um, a newborn here. Um, and this is just a Blueberry Capri cover. And this is like a turquoise, turquoise blue color. Another uh, blueberry capri, and this one's got some dinosaurs on it. Other blueberry capri. <laughs> um, this one has uh, just some random um, like giraffe, bear, um, hippopotamus, elephants, and that sort of thing on it. It's got the snaps, and all these are like one size, so they do have the snap down. Um, to make them bigger, you just snap all the snappies down and makes it a little bit bigger. But these are size ones, I believe, so they'll fit um, him fairly young, and they won't go all the way to um, they won't go all the way till like potty training or anything. But um, they'll fit him when he's he's more of a newborn in that a smaller stage. This one is also a, a newborn, and this is a Bumis uh, Super Whisper Wrap. And it's like a celery um, dot uh, polka dot print. And it's got the Aplex or the Velcro, if you want to call it Velcro. Um, but it's got the Aplex closure. It is not a snap down rise, so this is just like a, a, um, a size diaper, I guess they call them, where this is, this is the size of the diaper. It doesn't get any bigger or any smaller. This is another, this one is a Bumis one. Um, and it is, uh, it's like a little circus print. It's got uh, clowns and tigers and bears and seals and all that good stuff on it. 
and it's a uh, aplex closure as well and it's just that um, same size where it's just a size one and same with this bumus one as well uh, the lighting this is this is white you can't really probably see a lot here because of the brightness of it but um, it's got the aplex closure it's the same as the other ones it's just solid white with a dog hair on it I got this really cute, this is the only Apple Cheeks diaper I have and it's actually just a swim diaper. Um, and this is it here, size one swim diaper, so I'm hoping this will fit him um, this summer because um, one set of his grandparents have a pool and uh, hopefully they'll let him swim in it because they don't let the dogs swim in it, so hopefully he's allowed to. <laughs> My mom bought me when we were out um, this set of bamboo cotton flat diapers um, by uh, Oh So Cozy. Um, they feel really soft. I, I've just like opened the package. I obviously haven't washed anything yet, um, but they do feel really soft, much softer so far than the flower sack towels, but I've heard the flower sack towels um, do wash up and become really soft as well. Um, so we'll see which ones I like better. My guess is I'll probably like these better, um, but the flower sack towels will work just as well. And if they don't work, they'll be great like spit up rags or I can cut them up and make them into cloth wipes or whatever else. These are some cloth wipes that my mom also bought me when we were out shopping and they are by AMP Diapers. Um, it, they're made in Canada and they're reusable hemp cloth wipes um, and there's 12 in this pack. And it says there they were $15 for the 12 so that's not too bad. Now, I bought a whole bunch of pre-folds. I'm only going to show you one, really, to show you what a pre-fold looks like. Um, this is it. It hasn't been washed, so it's not as fluffy as it will be. Once I wash them, they get really, really, um, like, quilted. And basically, you can um, pad fold them, so or tri-fold them, like this, and then you stick it in the cover or you can um, wrap it around your baby and um, make it more of a diaper. And that's where the snappy would come in and you would snap it onto your baby like that and put the cover um, on top of it. So I have, I think I have 18 uh, newborn and 18 size one um, from Green Mountain Diapers. These I bought, um, they're called snappies. I don't really have them out of the package yet, but basically they snap on to the diaper. I also bought a couple um, wet bags. These are wet bags that are like I would take with me in a diaper bag or on the go um, as they are smaller, but they'd fit about, I'm gonna say probably like three to five um, dirty diapers. Oh, actually it says oversized main pocket um, holds nine to 10 cloth diapers. So that's quite a bit. So this one's by Skip Hop and it's a cute little um, striped print there. And then I bought this one as well. This is another travel one. This is how big the other one gets, but it was folded up. Um, and I think this one fits just as many as the other. Um, but anyway, it's got cute little monkeys on it. I thought it was really adorable. So I also bought that. I figured I probably need two because if I, you know, go out, I put dirty diapers in one, um, then that those have got to go in the wash stand with the bag because it's gonna be dirty once there are dirty diapers in there. And then if we go out again the same day or the next day and I haven't washed that other bag, I'll likely need another one. So that's why I bought those. Um, so that's what I have there for. These were pretty much all my covers, my prefolds, and my flats which yes I know I have way too many covers they say you need about um, six covers um, because you can reuse a cover if it's just a pee diaper um, you can actually reuse your cover as you can just like wipe it out um, and you can reuse it but if there's like poo or something in the diaper and it gets onto the cover clearly you have to wash the cover and you can't reuse it uh, for a second time so that's what's kind of nice about the covers so yes, I probably did buy way too many covers, but whatever, they were cute. So let's just go through some of these things. Now I'll show you first a couple, um, I guess you can call them a couple China cheapies, but I really liked the patterns um, and these are just pocket diapers. 
uh, these ones. So you just slip an insert inside. And I thought these were really cute and festive uh, for around Christmas time. Um, they do have the snaps on the front here. Uh, so you can snap them and make the diaper smaller um, as you need to. And it will grow with your baby as well. Um, this is another China Cheapy here. I thought this was really cute with the, uh, the knitted mittens on them. Um, again, it has the snaps in the front to snap it so it makes it smaller, um, a smaller fit for your baby. Now these ones I actually got from uh, Zookaboo um, on Etsy. It's a store on Etsy. Again, the name is Zookaboo. I'll link this one down below. Um, this is a um, I'm not sure if it's a stay-at-home mom, but she is a mom and she does make all of these uh, by hand and um, these are my husband's favorite pattern and these are These aren't pocket diapers. These ones are actually just covers um, So you would use like a pre-fold or a flat or something and use this as a cover So they have uh, the sugar skulls on them This one is in a nice teal color here And then we also have it in black with the sugar skulls on it. So anyways, they're really, really, um, they look like they're really well made. Um, and um, ho I'm hoping that they'll fit him just nicely. And this one um, is another pocket diaper. Pretty much all my diapers are pocket diapers. I only have, a f uh, I think about four that are actually all-in-ones and they're newborn ones. Um, I just had um, done a lot of research and found that a lot of people were saying the all-in-ones, well, they're really convenient for people who um, either don't cloth diaper, have never done it, or they're really good for babysitters and stuff. They take a long time to dry, um, where pocket diapers, you stuff the absorbency into them or lay the absorbency on top, and so uh, they're two separate pieces in a sense, and it's quicker to um, wash and dry them. So this is another one I got. It's a, obviously a birthday diaper. Um, I'm hoping it'd be really cute if this would fit him at newborn at the newborn stage. This is the smallest it goes, so I'm guessing this still might be a little bit too big, but it'll definitely fit him uh, for his one year. And this one is uh, I should mention this one's Tot Spots as the brand here. Next up is uh, this little guy here. Um, I thought this one was really cute. It is uh, a blueberry. It's a pocket diaper. This one was like traffic or city traffic or something like that it was called. And I thought this was really, really, really cute as well. This diaper here is actually um, the reason I bought some of those other ones is because I bought them off the same site. But I saw this one first. And then, of course, the site said if you spent more than like $75 or something that uh, it was free shipping. So I clearly had to buy this and some more diapers. But uh, this one is a cute polar bear print on it. Uh, this one is by Funky Fluff and it's the Funky Fluff Lux diaper and it's a pocket diaper as well. And this is a Bum Genius. Um, Bum Genius also makes the flip and that's why um, the colors you'll see here are very either similar or the same and it looks like the same diaper but this is a pocket diaper where the other ones were covers. So there is absorbency in here that you stuff into this one. So again, I think this one was called The Love. Okay, so here's um, another Bum Genius. I bought um, a bunch of Bum Genius uh, 5.0s and I think I have one 4.0. This one actually might be the 4.0. Um, I did get one 4.0 for free in the bundle that I um, that I bought online. You got, I think I bought five or six 5.0s and got a 4.0 for free. So this. I believe was the the free one and so it's just a beige beige color it's got the snaps and it does have um, all of these do they're one size so they all have the snaps on the front um, that unsnap and make the diaper even bigger and then they snap here open and make you can make the diaper bigger in the waist as well so I just have them all on the smallest settings right now because uh, obviously he's going to start off small and not big. I have a Bum Genius in this uh, dark blue color. Uh, this is another Bum Genius pocket and it's in a nice little um, fitzy blue kind of color. 
And I'm, I'm hoping these will, I really like these diapers. I'm hoping they work for him, but I know every baby's different. Uh, cute pur purple one here. I also bought all of these Bum Genius ones before I knew he was a boy, but it's funny because they're pretty much all kind of boyish colors, really. Um, another Einstein, baby Einstein one, which is really cute. This one is a peachy kind of orangey color. It looks more orange on the website than it does on person. In person, it's definitely more of a a peachy kind of color. So I think those were all my bum genius ones. And then I have here, this one is a Kanga Care, so it's a Romper Ruse. Again, all of these fronts snap down uh, to make it bigger, but I just have it on the smallest size. And this is a pocket diaper. And this one is in Quinn, is the, is the pattern. And I just thought this was really, really cute. So I bought that. This one here is by Little Helper. It is a charcoal bamboo um, diaper, meaning the inserts are, you can see a charcoal bamboo color. Um, so we'll see. I, I tried to get as many different kind of brands and um, different kinds of material for the, uh, for the absorbencies as possible just to see kind of what I like, what washes better, etc. Because I can always sell the ones that I don't like or that uh, don't work for us and buy more of the ones that do. So anyways, this one, I thought this was a very cute pattern and you can see the snaps on the front so I can actually make this fit a lot smaller than it is showing right now. And this one is by the same little helper and it's got uh, some sunglasses and some like old school bikes on it. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Anyways, I thought this was really cute. I actually bought these at um, uh, Snuggle Bugs, which is a store here in Canada at least. Um, and I bought these at the Burlington location when I was shopping with a friend. Okay, so these ones are like my all-in-ones. These are the only all-in-ones that I have and they're for preemies to newborns. So they only go, they go from about four pounds to 12 pounds, I think, max. And you can tell the difference. Like if I show you this diaper and I show you this diaper, like there is a difference there in the sizing. So this one is definitely cute. It's on the smallest uh, setting right now. And it does have the, you can see it, the little snap down uh, for the umbilical cord so you can snap it up but it does snap down um, to allow for the umbilical cord um, to um, not get moist, I guess. But um, an all-in-one, the difference here is it's all-in-one. It literally looks like a disposable diaper. This one has the, this is the little Joey's and they have like the double gussets so they're supposed to help keep the poop in there. I don't know if you can kind of see that or not. Um, but uh, yeah, so they're super cute. I ended up getting four of these. They come in two packs. So I got two two packs of these. So I got the polka dots. And then I got these cute little orange ones. And so those are my only all-in-ones. I'll see how I kind of like those um, off the bat. I'm assuming I'm probably just going to stick with the pockets if that works for me, but I'm, um, I also think that for the newborn stage, I'm really going to like the pre-folds and the flats with just the covers, which is why I have so many of them and not uh, a lot of other diapers for just newborns. Um, these one size ones like this probably won't fit him until he's at least probably... They say it starts from eight pounds, but I've uh, read differently that some people say it didn't fit their baby until they were 10 to 12 pounds. So he'll probably be in pre-folds and flats and covers and those little Joey's all-in-ones until he's big enough to really fit into those other ones without um, any big you know, leg gaps and, um, and it fits him nicely. So I think I have enough of the other stuff to get by until he fits into those one size uh, until he fits into those one size pocket diapers, which is good. And then just for the bedroom, um, I have purchased some um, pail liners. So I have a, like a diaper pail on my registry um, and these are the liners to go in them. Um, since I'm not using disposable diapers and I'm using cloth, you basically put the cloth, the dirty cloth diapers 
in here and then once you're ready to do a wash you take the whole bag downstairs you flip it inside out into the washing machine so all the dirty diapers you don't have to touch them you just kind of inside out into the washing machine and then throw this bag in the washing machine with the diapers and wash everything together um, so it's really big you can see by the picture on the back here um, this is the bag so it fits a lot and it goes in the pail um, it fits a big pail which is good so I bought that color um, which I think is called ooh, Charlie it's called Charlie and this one is the kangaroos and uh, by Kanga Care they're both by Kanga Care but uh, this is the kangaroos and it's got kangaroos on it um, and it's the same thing same size as the other one so that is basically everything I currently have uh, so far for cloth diapering I like I said I think I have enough uh, pretty sure I have enough but um, we will see I'm I still have to prep everything nothing has been washed or prepped yet I did go and get the Tide, I think it's called the Tide Free and Gentle Powder. If you go to fluffuniversity.com, they actually have a list of all cloth diaper safe detergents, as well as they give you detailed instructions depending on your washing machine. Like they actually have a photo of your washing machine based on the model and how you wash them from the pre-rinse cycle to the main wash and which, you know, which buttons you hit and, and everything. So it's kind of a no-brainer which is awesome and um, and that's just to kind of start you out and I guess you just kind of learn from there what works for you and what doesn't if you need to do like an extra rinse on your diapers or how you do them. Um, I do plan on line drying the diapers in the summer if at all possible when it's um, really nice and sunny out and also the sun is supposed to be really great for helping to um, remove stains off of your diapers. Um, so I'm going to try and do that in the summer when it's nice out uh, to line dry them. Plus the, they say that if you hang to dry or line dry uh, your diapers, uh, the, the snaps and the elastics and stuff, they last longer. Um, so I'm going to try and do that. Obviously can't do that during the winter, but um, definitely try and do that during the summer. That's all for my cloth diapering video. It's probably really long. I'll try and edit to make it as short as possible for you guys. Um, but that's basically everything I have uh, to start off cloth diapering right now and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up I plan on probably doing some more cloth diapering videos once I get into cloth diapering you know telling you how I like it uh, what my routine is the diapers that we like the diapers that we don't like um, just kind of everything about cloth diapering in general maybe doing a little bit of a series if I have enough to talk about with it um, and if I totally hate it I will also let you know um, that I totally hate it and the reasons why but anyway thanks so much for watching guys and my next video will be my 27 and 28 week update okay so we will talk to you later bye